this this bathroom is a little it's an interesting project so let me turn the light on real quick so I don't hate it um, actually we replaced the tile on the floor but the problem was the the walls are concrete and so to demo this tile out was such an extreme project Hi guys, it's Shelby with Farmhouse Living and today we have another DIY project which is impressive for us because typically we're not DIYers. This project is in the Skyline Project which is my own personal home and um, we painted the tile in the bathroom which is strange because we gutted the entire house. Why would you tear down all the drywall and gut the whole thing and then leave the um, tile up to paint. So um, I'll give you a few reasons why. The first one was when I brought the demo team in to come and basically demolish everything. They were scared that there, it was gonna be a little bit more extensive to demo that bathroom because the walls are like concrete this thick. I don't know if they were building like a tornado shelter or if they, I really, I'm not sure, but there's concrete walls. The second thing is when I got started and I started tearing everything out, I know the 60s isn't that old, but I wanted my home to have character that a new build or a, a home that you would find in a master plan community or custom, whatever. I just wanted it to be special and different and I felt like I was tearing out everything. So in the hallway I have a little phone shelf and that tile is original to the home and my hardwoods were original and that just made me feel like it was special. So not only did I get to keep a little bit of character, even if the character is not my preference, um, I did not have to destroy a concrete wall that they, I, I, they might have just been lazy, but um, it looked scary, so I opted out for tearing that out. So we did uh, do the floors, the tile floors, we switched those out, so they're like a black kind of hexagon, um, and I love that. But with that, there was the just square, simple square tiles, which is kind of coming back in style. You see that like Scandinavian look, and it's white. And that would be fine if it wasn't looking dull, kind of cream. But then also, it had a beautiful gold band <laughs> that just screamed. 60s, but not the good part of the 60s that you know, there's a lot of 60s coming back in style That that piece is not the good piece of the 60s So those are my goals in that is to keep that kind of original style that square that you would see in a 1960s ranch, but get rid of that ornate little scrolly gold so we used the Rust-Oleum Tile and Tub Refinishing Kit. Comes in a little box. Maybe I should go get that. Well, yeah. So we're gonna start by prepping the tile. Um, it's, you know, you can see it's got like grime and, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's gross. Um, so, you're, we're going to start by taking care of all of that. And you do that first with the Comet um, scrub or whatever it is. It's like a dollar. And um, a scrubber, what's it called? A sponge. <laughs> And then, um, and then you sand it. So this is 150 grit sandpaper. Um, this is what other people suggested, and I will let you know if that works. So 
So the tile is looking much better with a little scrub. Still need some paint to get rid of the gold, but um, I would like to purpose that the suits are not needed, but they are fun. And scrubbing is not fun, but wearing white suits with a friend that you look goofy in is fun. So I kind of didn't look good. <laughs> I know. So we have cleaned the tile. And I'm not gonna lie, it took a long time. So good luck with that part. Uh, <laughs> But the next part is, so we need to mix part B and part A, the activator and the base. This actually isn't a paint uh, opening thing, but it works. And I read this everywhere, but it smells horrible, and it does. Okay, so we got this clear, and this white. You just pour it in. I wonder how we're supposed to stir it. I didn't read that part. <laughs> I get to look at what the box says. Seems pretty. It's pretty watery though. So I'm not 100% sure if this is right, but the consistency is pretty watery, but I feel like I've mixed it really good. I haven't seen anybody mention this, so we shall see. So I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna start inside the, sh the uh, shower but I actually might end up doing the tub too after it's all said and done. It's pretty white right now, but when the guys were doing construction, they got like stuff all, they set like construction materials and stuff and it just wasn't, they didn't keep it very nice. But I also am worried that once this is on, the tub is gonna look really cream. Cause you know when a, this is a, a normal white, but it looks blue next to cream tile. So we shall see. We are taping off the areas that we don't want to get paint on, of course. So I'm gonna do the, the floor area and then the walls, of course. And Charlie went ahead and got started on the the parts that don't need tape and it's already looking a million times better. We are taking a little lunch break, and um, what we've learned so far is that drips are not good with this product. Don't let it drip. <laughs> um, runs aren't as easy to handle with epoxy as they are with normal paint. And then, what else did we learn? Oh, so use the paintbrush to go in the the grout lines and then use the roller to go over the whole thing. Oh, and use gloves because the stuff will not come off. So yeah, so far so good. If you're not super patient, this probably isn't the project for you. Um, if you just had the shower area, no big deal, but it's the fact that the entire room is tile. So, but we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's you.
this is Walter. He was at my door, so I think he wants to do, or she, she's a girl named Walter. Um, but she wanted to do the conclusion with me to this YouTube channel and ask you to subscribe to Farmhouse Living. We will be doing more DIY projects so that we can wrap up the Skyline project. Um, because we are trying to finish this home in the most cost effective way. And so all of our DIY projects are for level one DIYers. So if you are like, you can use power tools or you have, you know, those skills. If that's you, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe you just like the inspiration. Um, but if you are, you know, just don't have those skills, this is perfect. Let's do this together. Make sure that if you take on one of these projects, like you paint the exterior of your home, um, like we did in our last DIY, or you paint your tile, or anything else coming up, make sure to send us on it to us on Instagram, or uh, you can also uh, just tag us. So yeah, have a great day from Walter and I, and subscribe below. Were you good? Were you good? What are you trying to do? I know. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen, but also really ugly.